In this example, we will examine a rigid body problem in which two points on the body are constrained to move in a certain direction. A slender, uniform concrete slab with a mass of 12,000 kilograms and a length of 4 meters is slowly hoisted by a winch that is connected to a dolly. The bottom of the slab rests on the dolly at point A. A cable connects the top of the slab at point B to the ground at point C. When the slab is raised 60 degrees relative to the horizontal, point A is 4 meters from point C. Suddenly, the cable connected to the dolly breaks. At this instant, what is the acceleration of point A? What is the angular acceleration of the slab, alpha? And what is the tension T in the cable connecting points B and C? Assume that the slab will not slip on the dolly and that the mass of the dolly is negligible. Start by drawing a free body diagram of the slab. Identify your coordinate system and label the positive direction of your coordinates. In this case, a rectangular coordinate system is more convenient. Draw the external forces acting on the slab. The weight acts at the center of mass and points downward. Its magnitude is the mass of the slab, m, times the gravitational acceleration, g. The normal force exerted by the dolly on the slab, n, acts perpendicular to the surface. The tension in the cable attached to point B is unknown, but its direction can be determined through geometry. The angle adjacent to theta is 120 degrees. Since the distance between points A and C and the distance between points A and B are known, the remaining two angles in the triangle formed by points A, B, and C can be determined. Therefore, the tension acts to the left and downward 30 degrees from the horizontal. Next, draw the equivalent kinetic diagram. Select a positive direction for rotation. Draw the components of the acceleration of the center of mass and draw the moment about the center of mass, ICM times alpha. We are ready to apply the three equations of motion. Newton's second law in the x direction, Newton's second law in the y direction, and the moment equation about the center of mass. For the x direction, the x component of the tension acts on the slab in the negative x direction. This is equation number one. For the y direction, the normal force points in the positive y direction, the weight points in the negative y direction, and the y component of the tension points in the negative y direction. This is equation number two. For the moment equation, the moment of inertia about the center of mass, ICM, is the mass times the length squared divided by 12. Next, we determine the moment about the center of mass produced by the external forces. The normal force produces a negative moment and has a moment arm of 1 half L times cosine 60 degrees. The tension produces a positive moment and has a moment arm of 1 half L times sine 30 degrees. The weight produces no moment because its moment arm is zero. We now have equation number three. We have used the three equations of motion, but have five unknowns, n, t, alpha, and the two components of the acceleration of the center of mass. We can obtain two additional equations by examining the relative motion between point A and the center of mass. The acceleration of the center of mass is equal to the acceleration of point A plus the acceleration of the center of mass relative to point A. The acceleration of the center of mass is decomposed into its x and y components. The magnitude of the acceleration of point A is unknown, 
but we know point A is restricted to move in the x direction. The relative acceleration term is decomposed into tangential and normal components. The tangential component is alpha cross RCMA, the position vector pointing from point A to the center of mass. The normal component is the angular velocity of the slab, omega, cross the quantity omega cross RCMA. The angular velocity is zero at that instant since the slab starts from rest. The angular acceleration vector has the magnitude of alpha and points in the z direction. RCMA starts at point A and terminates at the center of mass. The center of mass is located a distance 1 half L times cosine 60 degrees to the right and 1 half L times sine 60 degrees upward from point A. Take the cross product of alpha and RCMA. Plug in the expressions for the acceleration terms, equating the x terms and the y terms, we obtain two additional equations. Now we have five equations and six unknowns. We can obtain two more equations by examining the relative motion between points A and B. The acceleration of point A is equal to the acceleration of point B plus the acceleration of point A relative to point B. Point A must move in the x direction. The magnitude of the acceleration of point B is unknown, but we know point B must move in a circular path about point C due to the tension in the cable. In order to find the direction of the acceleration of B, we relate the acceleration of points B and C. The acceleration of point B is equal to the acceleration of point C plus the acceleration of point B relative to point C. The acceleration of point C is zero. The relative acceleration term is decomposed into tangential and normal components. The normal component is the angular velocity of the cable, omega BC, cross the quantity of omega BC cross RBC, the position vector pointing from point C to point B. Omega BC is zero since the system starts from rest. Therefore, the acceleration of point B is tangent to the circular path of point B about point C. The relative acceleration term A sub AB is decomposed into tangential and normal components. The tangential component is alpha cross RAB, the position vector pointing from point B toward point A. The normal component is omega cross the quantity of omega cross RAB. The angular velocity is zero at that instant since the slab starts from rest. We previously obtained an expression for the angular acceleration vector. RAB starts from point B and terminates at point A. Point A is located a distance L times cosine 60 degrees to the left and L times sine 60 degrees downward from point B. Take the cross product of alpha and RAB Plug in the expressions for the accelerations, equating the x terms and the y terms, we obtain two additional equations. Now we have seven equations and seven unknowns, and can solve for the angular acceleration of the slab the acceleration of point A, and the tension in cable BC.
the slab's angular acceleration is 3.68 radians per second squared in the clockwise direction. The acceleration of point A is 8.5 meters per second squared to the left, and the tension in the cable is 29.4 kilonewtons.